In a recent Executive Spotlight interview, DMI CEO Rocky Thurston sat down with GovConWire to talk through acquisition bid strategy, exciting mergers and acquisitions deals in his time so far with DMI and what makes the company's culture stand out, among other topics. Lado's chief growth officer Jerry Fasano recently accepted his 2024 WASH 100 award from Executive Mosaic CEO Jim Garretson. Vote for Fasano as your favorite WASH 100 award winner at WASH100.com. John Rosenwasser, former budget and policy director at the Senate Select Committee for Intelligence, has joined the office of the Director of National Intelligence to serve as chief financial officer. Executive Mosaic's GovCon Index posted two consecutive weekly loss for the first time in 2024. The escalating conflict in the Middle East triggered a broad market sell-off on Friday. The U.S. Army Engineering and Support Center in Huntsville has begun seeking proposals for a potential 10-year, $3 billion multiple award task order contract to provide energy and water conservation services at federal facilities. Robert Dias, formerly a vice president at Northrug Grumman, has been appointed senior VP of Business Development for Munitions and Government at Day & Zimmerman. Kerasoft Technology has secured a spot on a potential five-year, $261.2 million blanket purchase agreement to provide risk management software from Forescout to the Department of Defense and U.S. Coast Guard. Sterling Jones, a two-decade industry veteran, was named Vice President and General Manager of Agile Development Group at L3 Harris Technologies. Join Potomac Officers Club's fifth annual CIO Summit on April 17, 2024. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. Boeing has booked a $111.9 million order from the U.S. Navy to manufacture and deliver avionics long lead time parts and spares in support of the Super Hornet and Growler aircraft. The General Services Administration's Federal Acquisition Service has begun seeking information on a potential $100 million single award contract to provide information technology and engineering support services to the 502D Trainer Development Squadron.